Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. I'm Danielle. Bears are waking up from their den and they're going to be on the prowl for food from now until November. So it's important for us to take measures to prevent bears from getting human food. So today we'll talk about three of the most common ways that bears get human attractants, whether it's at home or in your campsite. Bears are naturally curious, so they're going to be looking for food or things that smell like food that we may not think of as food so that they can gain weight and be healthy for the next year. Bird seed is one of the most common attractants that we have in Montana. And it's, it's common because a lot of people feed birds for enjoyment, but bird seed contains a lot of calories, which makes it really desirable for bears. One pound of bird food can provide over 2,000 calories. The easiest way to deal with this attractant is to just put your bird feeders away March 1st, because we don't want bird feeders to turn into bear feeders. Also, don't forget your hummingbird feeders because those sweet nectar uh, feeders are really attractive to bears as well. Alternatively, in the summer, you can have plants like trees, shrubs, and flowers that provide habitat for nesting birds and natural foods that don't attract bears. The second most common attractant that we see around the home is garbage. Everybody has garbage, and there's a couple of easy ways to keep it away from bears. One is to get a bear-resistant garbage can like this one here. And the reason you need to have a certified bear resistant container like this garbage can is because even if a can looks bear resistant, it may not be. This is a garbage can that a bear broke into. If you don't have a bear resistant garbage can, another thing you can do is just put your garbage in a shed or in a garage that's locked up until garbage day or when you can take it to the dump. Another important tip on garbage is to not put your garbage out the night before service put it out the morning of so it gives bears less time to find it and get into it. The third most common bear attractant, you might find at a campsite, I will collectively call smellies because it's not just one thing. It's anything that bears might find interesting that you take camping with you. That could be food before, during, or after it's been used. They can smell food inside of sealed cans. You could also have pet food or you could have toiletries like toothbrush and toothpaste, deodorant or bug spray. All of those things can easily be stored if you're front country camping, which means going camping by with your car. You can put it inside of your vehicle, lock the car and put the windows up. You can also store it in a bear resistant container. Um, this is a bear resistant uh, cooler here and there's also other products like panniers. But when you use a bear resistant container, make sure it's one that's certified by the interagency grizzly bear committee. Those products are actually tested by grizzly bears. You can find a full list of those products online at igbconline.org. When you're using a bear resistant cooler like this one, it's important that you lock both corners of the cooler or else it won't be bear resistant. You can use a padlock like this or you can use a nut and a bolt. So remember, you can do a lot to prevent bear conflicts by storing attractants properly to keep people safer and bears out of trouble. Thanks for joining us for another Wildlife Wednesday.